Good morning, everyone. It's Rafecal. Playing some more Dark Mouse. And we're apparently going to get some exposition. The ancient necromancer Zerastar has returned. His hunters annihilated the inhabitants of Hazath. I was not expecting something that, uh... Yeah. Continually revives creatures for his hunters to feed on. The creatures have gone feral. We barricaded the village and survived the scourge. My father, Lord Victor, went to Samarkand Castle before the curse fell. Sir Destrian went after him not long ago. Now we are few indeed. It's Lady Anna, is that you? No, I sense another. We are refugees of Kassadar in the east. The great city was lost in the Samir War when Samarkand's forces... Lord Victor has never forgiven... But in the shadow of Zerasar, old wounds must be forgotten. Very cool. Got an amulet. I will set out to find my father soon, although I am grievously wounded. And none shall care for the weak here. Unless... Will you recover Lord Victor for me? Yes. I am in, again indebted to you. Please accept this bow as a token of friendship. Nice. We must pass through Samarkand Garrison to reach the castle. The garrison is in the north. Be careful. Aww. These little mice playing with a ball. Steel shards. Upgrade equipment. Very cool. I have two shards to upgrade with currently. Good to know. Arrow chime. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got two. So arrow chime, resting at a bonfire will replenish arrows. Okay. Moss amulet, increase your health. Um, lighter shield, got the bow, I'm curious, okay, it's a little bit better damage, definitely not digging the, I think so far these two are my favorites. Um, and they're both skill-based weapons, so that's probably going to be the stat I'm leaning into currently. Um, let's go ahead and equip this on the right, I guess. I found a little food. Take this. Uh, it's a medium morsel. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest. Save up. We'll see how the bow does. I'm not expecting much just because it felt... I mean, part of it could just be because I'm very bad at dodging so far. Uh, I think we are going to explore a little bit more to the right before we... Continue. And part of it is that I want to... That was really neat, and these enemies are kind of neat, except for the fact that they didn't drop any marrow for me. Which, I guess, in general, is one of the things I'm noticing so far. Most of these enemies don't seem to drop a lot of resources. 
uh, the spiders don't either. Like, only a few of them did. Yes, I can upgrade equipment, which I'm going to do once I decide, but I only have so many. And I want to know if I'm going to get better weapons like this. I'm being a hoarder. Anybody who has watched this channel before is not at all surprised by this. Whoa! That is a that is a freaking bull. Well then, I'm not sure why there is a bull randomly hanging out up there. That kind of throws off the things I was saying about how about the scale of the game, where like the giant spiders feel appropriate for the mice. And the birds make sense from that perspective as well. Although I guess a bird that go was going after a mouse would generally be larger than that. Although if I'm starting to go into that kind of logic, then I could also say that uh, mice generally don't use swords. I am curious about this. So I want to just get up here and recover. I'm not going to try and fight the bull again, probably, but if I can recover my marrow, then I'm here pretty securely. I'm not super worried. That's a cool little short. There's just so many neat little passages like that that you can't see unless you're at just the right angle because of the way the lighting in this works and the point of view. You're up to three levels worth of marrow sitting here. Just trying to uncover the rest of the map here to make sure that I get it all. Make sure I'm not missing any juicy secrets here. Let's go... I didn't love the bow. Uh, fear levels after 10 increase, slightly increased skill weapon damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip... Or just to toss another one in skill, because I think I'm going to be wanting some more of that. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Dexterity and Capacity. And it looks like we also get an ability. Uh, what is Ghost Whisperer? One ghost ally will follow you to the death with increased toughness. Increased dodge distance. Increases the number of accessories that can be equipped. We don't... It, maybe if we get another accessory? <laughs> uh, let's try Ghost Whisperer, I guess. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but sure. Oh, that's right. I was going to do unequip that. That'll take my movement speed back up to 100.
actually, what was the other ability I have here? Running stab attack. Run and right trigger. Okay. So the light one works with the dodge as well. Like you can just tap it and do the sweep. The lunge, you have to actually be holding the run button, not just tapping the dodge, not just tapping it to dodge. Fireball. Auto target is driving me a little crazy here. Maybe that's actually. Oh my gosh, you could turn it off. That feels so much nicer. It was kind of nice just to have that little advanced warning, but having the free camera range is so much nicer. as I realized that I should probably be using the wide sweeping weapon for the mobile enemy. <sighs> Might have better luck. That's the bull. Or a bull. That's actually terrifying. That very much feels like an enemy I'm not supposed to fight yet. Which is fine. blows my mind that I managed to take them so one so much one to time last time and this time we found the swarm The movement controls are definitely tricky. Um, and getting the timing for a lot of stuff right. Required skill six. Really? Oh, wait, was the short sword what we started with? Yes. Short sword is what we started with. That just pokes people. So this is actually not that much more damage and much shorter range than most of the things we've got. Um, but it says it swings faster with each strike. So we can probably like swing back and forth several times. That's multiples of them. Okay, that is a thing that just happened. I will probably need to figure out how to deal with those soon, because we have not made it very far this session. Uh... <laughs> I love the way his little feet move.
Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to be fighting that yet. to try the fireball. We just want to keep bumping what we've got. I guess let's just go this way for now. Um. Don't have the key. Oh, okay. That's actually really cool. So it, the quest was to find the garrison. Once you find the garrison, you find that the door is locked. And it actually updates the quest to tell you to recover the key. Very cool. I like that. It's a very simple thing, but it's also very... Uh, it gives you some very intuitive direction. Um, let's go ahead and do another data stamina, maybe? No, let's... We, we really need to just keep bumping so we can try these other weapons out as we get them. There's definitely a part of me that feels like we should be doing, like, a short grind to get, uh to try and equip the scimitar. I'm actually a little curious if there's a way to reset points as well, because if we could just... There's a few things thus far that probably could have been done more efficiently. But we're new to it. Currently we have points in everything. Generally with these type of games, you definitely want to have a build in mind when you start. Do we have like an, a, a thing that lets you do that? Automatically resurrects you at the last campsite. Okay, so that's like a... Those allies are enabled. I'm very curious what that means. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. So one of the cool things with the spear is you can hold your shield. It says you can attack while blocking, which none of the other weapons were allowing, which I hadn't thought about slash noticed. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to try something quick here. I want to see how much of a boost we get for this iron. Not a ton. I know that over here there's one bowl. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's facing, oh, there's one bowl there and it's facing, oh, what is that? That's the ghost. It's me. So it summons a me when I die? Twisted figurine is still there. Can I, like... I 
just happened? We killed a cow. Picked up a spiked shield. That sounds cool. I'm slightly worried about the fact that we just found a campfire because that means I have to get back through the bowl. To get back. That actually wasn't as bad as I was expecting, to be honest. So now's the ultimate question. How much base does my do my neighbors need? Sorry about that. So yes, it does recharge every time. Uh, so the shadow does re recover every time you die. And it sounded like you could get more than one. That is a very cool mechanic because normally one of the biggest or one of the biggest challenges with souls like games is recovering your that is so weird every time it shifts camera angles on you. Um <laughs> sorry. Uh one of the tricks to these type of games is being able to get back to your body, as it were. And this gives you kind of this like recovery mechanic almost where you still have to get back to it. There's still a chance you die, but oh, jeez. Okay, well, there is a new bigger threat. <laughs> Oh, man. No, this is very cool, though. Unfortunately, we were way out there when we died. So probably not going to get back there easily. Um, Man, there's a lot going on here. And the there's... Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on here. I'm, there's so much to explore and these enemies are so challenging. I feel like we have barely done anything for the last couple of videos just because there's been so much. That's a boss of some kind, apparently. I would you... Well then, <laughs> um, uh, I guess the good news is my body is closer. Uh, however, I was going to say that I do feel like it's about time to wrap up again. We 
again, it hasn't felt like I got through too terribly much. But we did make it through this. We got to the locked door. We figured out how the ghosts worked. We found a boss. We figured out how to kill the bulls to some extent. Um, I'm going to check real quick here. Or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just do a little research here. Um, I am very curious if there is a way to undo or uh, reset your skills, because I definitely feel like like the dexterity points haven't felt as impactful as I would like. And I've put several in there. Um, I know that I'm going to want to get up to six skill pretty quickly, so I could try that scimitar. Um, that might be a replacement for the Tachi, depending on how it works. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll take a look and see what we can find. And if not, then that's not a huge deal. I may even go back and just play through this first section again, um, if I need to, and just get back to this point. Um, yeah, that sounds like a problem for next time. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.